Yes, students. Exercise two point four. Rounding numbers and addition. First question is six five four zero plus five three nine zero. Now six five four zero and five three nine zero both are four digit number. We will find the nearest thousand number. Okay. So six five four zero. That means six thousand five hundred forty. This number lies between six thousand and seven thousand. Now check the last three digits. Five forty. Five forty is greater than five hundred. When this number is greater than five hundred, then the next thousand. This is the previous thousand and this is the next thousand. When five forty is greater than five hundred, greater than five hundred, then the next thousand will be our rounded number. Here seven thousand is our rounded number. And the next number is five three nine zero, five thousand three hundred ninety. This number lies between five thousand and six thousand. Last three digits that is equal to three ninety. Now three ninety is less than five hundred or greater than five hundred. Three ninety is less than five hundred. When three ninety is less than five hundred, then previous thousand will be your rounded number. That means the last three digits when it is greater than, then the next thousand will be your rounded number. When it is less than, then the previous thousand will be your rounded number. So here the rounded numbers are seven thousand and five thousand. So add seven thousand plus five thousand that is equal to twelve thousand. Zero plus zero 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 plus zero 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 plus zero zero seven plus five that is equal to twelve. So twelve thousand is the answer. Next sum four. Thousand six hundred. Four thousand six hundred lies between four thousand and five thousand. Now see the last three digits. That is equal to six hundred. Now six hundred is greater than five hundred. When greater than sign you are using, that means the next thousand will be your answer. Here five thousand. For the next number three two five zero, three thousand two hundred fifty. Lies between three thousand and four thousand. Now two fifty is less than five hundred. When two fifty is less than five hundred, then the previous thousand will be your answer. So here three thousand is your answer. Now add these two numbers: five thousand plus three thousand. Zero 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 three plus five equal to eight. Next sum, sum number G, eight seventy six. Eight seventy six is a three digit number. So we will find nearest hundred. Now eight seventy six lies between eight hundred and nine hundred. Since it is a three digit number, check the last two digit and compare with fifty because it is this is a two digit number. Now seventy six. Is greater than fifty or less than fifty? Seventy six is greater than fifty. So if seventy six is greater, I am using greater than sign. So the next hundred will be our answer, nine hundred. Next number is four hundred twelve. This number lies between four hundred and five hundred. Now check this digit, twelve. The number is twelve. Twelve is less than fifty. If you are using less than sign, then the previous hundred will be your answer. Less than means small. Between four hundred and five hundred, which one is small? Four hundred. You are using small less than sign. That means smaller. So four hundred will be your answer. Now add nine hundred plus four hundred. Nine hundred plus four hundred. Zero zero four plus nine. That is equal to thirteen.
Next we will start sum number 3. This is a story sum. I want to buy a desktop computer for rupees 9995 and a printer for rupees 6455. Estimate the amount of money I need. Here the estimate is mentioned. If the question is find how much money I need, then just you add these two numbers and you will get the answer. The question will be how much money I need. But here the question is estimate the amount I need. Estimate is mentioned. So first you have to find a rounded number. Then you will add that rounded numbers. Now the first number, 9,995. This number lies between 9,000 and 10,000. Now check 995. Is it greater than 500 or less than 500? Greater than. When you are using greater than sign, then the greater number will be. That means 10,000 will be a rounded number. So here 10,000 is a rounded number. Now check the next number 6455. Now this number lies between 6000 and 7000. Check 455. 455 is less than or greater than 500. Less than. When it is less than 500 in a smaller number or the previous number will be your answer. Here the smaller number is 6000. Smaller number means between 6000 and 7000. Which one is smaller? 6000. So the smaller number will be your answer or the previous thousand. So add 10,000 plus 6,000 that is equal to 16,000. So I need rupees 16,000. Must mention the answer. Next, sum number 5. The question is, Mr. Sharma drove from Delhi to Chennai and back. If the distance from Delhi to Chennai is 2184 km, estimate the distance. The term estimate means you have to find the rounded number. From Delhi to Chennai, the distance is 2184 km. Again from Chennai, he is coming to Delhi. That means he covered 2184 km. So total distance he covered. You have to add these two numbers. But before that, first find the rounded number because the term estimate is here. 2184. This number lies between 2000 and 3000. Now check 184, the last three digits. 184 is less than 500. When 184 is less than 500, then the smaller number or the previous thousand will be your answer. So here 2000 is your rounded number. So when he was going from Delhi to Chennai, he covered 2000 km. Again when he came from Chennai to Delhi, he covered 2000 km. So total distance he covered 2000 plus 2000. 0, 0, 0, 2 plus 2, 4. 4000 km. Must write down the answer. Here I haven't done sum number 4. Uh, most of the chapters I am doing some selective sums uh, but you do all the sums if you have any problem in that sums you can ask me.